Hey guys, Andrew from Model Flight here. Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to take you through a look at Real Flight 9, which is a RC flying simulator. Now you can use this to practice flying uh, helicopters, aircraft and drones, and it's a fantastic training tool and aid for beginner and experienced pilots. If you're a beginner looking to get into the world of RC, going out and purchasing something like an Apprentice or Hobby Zone Aeroscout would be a fantastic option. Coupling this with a simulator was going to give you your best chances of success. This is a great way for you to practice uh, flying a model aircraft and translate that out to flying the thing in real life and having a really good time uh, without crashing because the sim lets you build up those skills and crash as many times as you like and get to reset as you need. If you're an experienced pilot also looking for something realistic to practice your flying on, RF9 is a great option. Whether you're looking to put a couple of hours in on the sticks at night when you can't get to the field, finish work, this is a great option to hone your skills, um, keep your reflexes sharp and get some practice in. So all in all, something that as a beginner you could have and keep all the way through your flying. When you purchase this, it does come in two options. You can get the software only. If you do purchase the software only, you're gonna to need to purchase a wireless dongle, which allows you to bind your transmitter to the computer so that you can control the game. If you don't have a Spectrum transmitter, then you can purchase Real Flight 9 with a controller. Now the controller is a wired unit, it plugs straight into the USB port on your computer and allows you to fly the game. That wired controller comes pre-configured in mode two. So when we talk about mode, it is where your throttle um, and control sticks are. So in mode one, throttle is on the right hand side, in mode two, it's on the left hand side. So that Spectrum wired controller comes preset in mode two. It does have a switch on the back of the radio, which allows you to change the mode really easily, like within 30 seconds. So you can swatch, swap it over to a mode one if you want to. Now, once you've done the physical change on the transmitter, you need to go and change the mode in the game. So we're gonna show you how to do that with a screen recorder tool. So you can follow along with us setting the mode and the input channels on the radio. So that if you do have to mode convert the radio, you can follow along and learn how to do it quite easily. So once we've done the physical mode conversion, we need to go and assign the channels in the game. So heading up to simulation, we go down to select controller. Once we click on that, we'll get to see our controller that's active. So this is our either spectrum controller or spectrum radio. We're going to go over to the, or we're going to do the elevator channel first. So we go over to the assignment, get rid of it, and we're going to click on this box. And all we're going to do to assign the elevator channel to the stick Click on this box, it'll bring up a screen. Now we have to move our elevator stick up and down. That is now assigned to the elevator channel. The next one we have to do is throttle. So it is the same process. Click that box for your throttle channel. Once we click on it, we get the stick prompt. Move your throttle stick up and down. Now throttle is assigned. Once we've done this, we can hit save. Now I recommend renaming this. I'm just going to name this mode one setup and then we can save that file so that we never have to do this again. And once we've saved it, you can hit close. And now you can see that this is the profile mode one, so the settings we've just added. And the last step to do is to calibrate. Now this is super simple. Follow the prompts on the screen, center the sticks just like it's showing you. And then we can move the sticks through their range of motion. So you'll see on the right hand side, the transmitter sticks are moving, the corresponding channel side is moving as well. Once we move these through their range of motion, um, they'll be calibrated for the endpoints, and then we can just hit finish. Super simple process, really easy to do. We do take a lot of calls on this, so um, now that people know how to do it, you can uh, mode change to your heart's content. Thanks for joining us again today, guys, for another video. We hope you've enjoyed the content we've provided. If you do have real flight or are thinking about getting real flight, hopefully the information we've shown you about setting up the mode and calibrating the radio is helpful to you. Um, as you can see, it's a fantastic training tool um, to fly all of your favorite Hangar 9 and E-Flight models in the game, practice before you go outside and fly for real. If you've liked this video or you do have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. As always, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you next video. Thank you.